Hi, it's me again, Wiza. Let's continue our discussion on the ABCs of proper nutrition for healthy rice plants. Remember that when your rice plants are healthy, you are assured of a good harvest. As a review, proper nutrition simply means giving rice plants the right nutrients in the right amount at the right time. Proper nutrition is just simple as A, B, C. A. Acquaint yourself with the important nutrients needed by the rice plant. B. Become familiar with the critical growth stages of the rice plant. C. Check your fertilizer application at tillering and panicle initiation. Previously, we have learned that the A of the ABC to proper nutrition is acquaint yourself with the important nutrients needed by the rice plant. In this video, we will talk about the B of the ABC of proper nutrition, which is become familiar with the critical growth stages of the rice plant. Specifically, you will learn the following. The growth stages of rice at which addition of nutrients is critical and ways to feed the young rice plants. A key to understanding proper nutrition for rice is to know when to feed your rice plant with the right nutrients. Different nutrients are needed at different times and amounts to ensure healthy rice plants. Rice plants are a lot like people. Rice plants also go through several stages of growth, from a seed to a young plant, then all the way to a mature rice crop. The need of rice plants for nutrients varies at each growth stage, and the amount of additional nutrients from fertilizers should match the needs of rice plants at each stage. Three stages of rice growth are critical for adding nutrients. Early growth, tillering, and panicle initiation. Young rice plants typically need phosphorus and sometimes potassium and sulfur in amounts greater than available from soil, organic materials, and irrigation water. In such cases, fertilizers containing these nutrients should be applied to the young rice. At this stage, only a small amount of added nitrogen is needed by young rice plants. At tillering, additional nitrogen can be critical as rice plants start to grow and develop faster, but the amount should be proportionate to the need of the rice plant at this stage. Panicle initiation is a critical stage for additional nitrogen as rice plants begin to develop the grain bunches that will hold the grains. When straw is not returned to the field and yields are expected to be high, additional potassium might also be needed. The first time rice plants need nutrients is during early growth. This is about the first two weeks after transplanting or up to 18 days after direct seeding. At the early growth stage, when rice plants are still young, they grow at a slow rate. At this stage, the development of roots is important to ensure effective extraction of nutrients from the soil. Phosphorus helps ensure strong roots and plant health. Hence, all the phosphorus fertilizers should be applied to young rice plants. This is within two weeks after transplanting of transplanted rice or within 18 days after seeding of direct seeded rice. Potassium and sulfur are also important for the overall health of young rice plants. These nutrients, when required by the rice crop, can be applied early like phosphorus. Rice plants take up only a small amount of nitrogen during this early stage because of their slow growth. Therefore, only about one quarter of the total nitrogen fertilizer should be applied to young rice before tillering. Too much early nitrogen can increase the susceptibility of the crop to lodging or diseases when it gets older. As a general practice, fertilizers that contain NP or NPK such as 16-20-0 or 14-14-14 
are well suited for the first fertilizer application. They contain the phosphorus required for early growth, and they contain a relatively small amount of nitrogen. They also normally contain sulfur. Apply all of the required 16-20-0 or 14-14-14 within about 2 weeks after transplanting or within 18 days after seeding of direct seeded rice. When NP and NPK fertilizers are applied early, do not use urea during the first application because the young rice plants need only a small amount of nitrogen fertilizer. 14-14-14 or 16-20-0 applied at recommended rates typically supply sufficient sulfur to meet the needs of rice. You then do not need to apply ammonium sulfate as a sulfur source when 14-14-14 or 16-20-0 is applied at recommended rates. As a general principle, the need of rice for nutrients increases in proportion to rice yield. This means that the need of rice for added nutrients from fertilizers can likely increase with increasing yield. More fertilizers should be applied in higher yielding seasons and higher yielding locations. For a fertilizer recommendation specific to your rice field, please consult the Nutrient Manager for Rice. This easy-to-use computer program is available on the internet. You can access this web version with a computer or mobile phone at the website shown on the screen. Here are the important points to remember. The main stages of rice growth that are critical for adding nutrients are early growth, tillering, and panicle initiation. NP or NPK such as 16-20-0 or 14-14-14 are well suited for the first fertilizer application during early growth. This is from transplanting to around 14 days after transplanting for transplanted rice or from sowing to about 18 days after sowing for direct seeded rice. All the needed phosphorus, much or all the needed potassium, and a relatively small fraction of the total needed nitrogen are applied at this time. Thank you.